Hello, I'm Matthew B. Lamont, and welcome to a rant. Today's rant is going to be about the South Park Pandemic Special. Now, why the Pandemic Special? Well, tomorrow, the Vaccine Special will premiere on Comedy Central. But now, what you've all been waiting for is a rant. And let me say, when I saw it, back in September, let me just say, my gosh, what were they thinking? First of all, they're exploiting 2020 so far. It starts off with uh, the town being so deserted and arid because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Randy Marsh is like selling his uh, integrity drugs and Cartman is like so happy about there's like no school and uh, he's enjoying it until suddenly it's being announced saying, okay, we're going to take the students back to school because there's going to be a possible cure for the for the coronavirus. Carmen doesn't take it too nicely. His paranoia takes over and starts blaming Kyle for it. And Kyle's saying, no, I think you're crazy. And then, and then Mr. Mackey says, okay, uh, we're going to have a family meeting with the parents now. Uh, could you explain? Uh, no, I'm asking you. Is it going to work? How's it going to work? I think this one. And then Randy Marsh and uh, not Randy. Uh, who was the other one? Butter's father and Craig's father were arguing at each other. And uh, since Mr. Mackey's like uh, running the Zoom chat, he mutes them all so nobody hears him. All, so he can't hear them, and and they only hear him, not the others. And he says, "All right, how is this going to happen? You're not going to fight around, okay?" So this one. And you're muted, that one, and you're muted. For trying to put the kids back to school. But, so at school, they had like this posters and social distancing seats and these tubes. And Kyle is like in there and they're waiting for Cartman. And uh, Cartman's like screaming, no, no, I don't want to go back to school, no, no. And the two policemen are dragging him in here. They're cuffing him and putting, they're forcing him to put on his face mask as if it was like a parody of prison. Yeah, they're spoofing prison. And the detective, he like says, right, who knows math? Uh, your teachers? And uh, the first thing you don't know is uh, don't know anything about math. And the other policeman, here's my, my, my teaching assistant here, will tell you, we're going to make finger painting about what you happened today or what you did over the summer. And Cartman, being a crazy ass unlikable or likable depending on how you like the show crybaby he says no i might get sick from kyle and he starts coughing <laughs> cartman and stop it stop it that's it now rage he just breaks out starts beating the crap out of cartman yeah since apparently the words like stop it cut it out halt cease and desist and all their kin mean nothing to anybody anymore these days. Well, I guess the best thing to do is resort to violence because, hey, we need some backbone. We need to fight back, bite back, bounce back, triumph over our aggressors. Otherwise, we succumb to our aggressors. And as they're going back to that episode, as they were fighting, the policemen wanted to break up the riot, so they, instead of shooting the boys, they accidentally shot Token, which was a big mistake and he's making fun of the George Floyd case and then later you see the policeman report to the parents now there's been out there's, the students will be quarantined because one student got COVID-19 and he's going to be sent to the hospital and then Stan who's like the smartest character in the show the reasonable character and I bet he got off from his from his from his mother the, the brain genes, and he's like the straight guy in the show. Think of him as like the uh, Oliver Hardy, Mo Howard, Bud Abbott, or Jack Smith. You know, of the comedy team Jack Smith and Avery Schreiber. Think of think of him as that, the straight guy, or Spanky from the Little Rascals. So they went. So 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 Stan said. Um, no, 
it wasn't us. It wasn't coronavirus. You sent him to the hospital to sh and we shot him. And now we see a parody of prison and the children Zoom chatting, which is like a parody of the Mexican uh, concentration camps where the Mexicans got all uh, arrested, Ill illegal immigrants got arrested and get that horrible treatment. And meanwhile, Randy Marsh is like thinking about, oh, what would I do now? Oh, what what happened? And he thought it would, and he started having these flashbacks of his time one with Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse, the saving grace of this episode. And he went to bang a bat. He think he got the coronavirus came from China because he went to China and he got from a bat. And then later he got it from a pangolin. Now a pangolin is being investigated for cor for the illness. And I thought to myself, oh, okay, he's making fun of the fact that pangolins are responsible for the coronavirus. Oh my gosh. Next. And then he decided to use his drugs for a cure. Because after re re getting a, a threatening death letter from Mickey's saying, you're next. Oh, Randy, this is all your fault because you're, because you brought in the coronavirus. Oh, and now everybody's sick and everybody's after you. Oh, and Randy watched, oh no, uh, I could change that. So he took his uh, marijuana and uh, he sealed it with his jizz, which is disgusting, and he gave it to Jimbo, and now Jimbo started to get better, and he's like sent home, and suddenly he got sick, and other illnesses, and other side effect, and now he's got Randy's mustache. How is that funny? I mean, I didn't laugh a bit. So far, I didn't laugh a bit, except for the Mickey Mouse stuff. Before I continue, I like to say it makes fun of the fact that people use Tom Hanks' blood to cure all these other celebrities' uh, sicknesses of the coronavirus, but oops! It just made another virus happen. It's like when Looney Tunes cartoons got rebooted when they took away Elmer Fudd's and Yosemite Sam's gun, but now how Elmer Fudd's going to shoot Bugs Bunny now? Well, he's not allowed to shoot Bugs with a gun, but hey! He's trying other weapons. It's like, I stopped taking cocaine, but I'm taking other drugs. See how messed up that is? And then Stan, with a quarantine at home, decided that he couldn't take it anymore because he saw Butters at lunch completely lose it. So, now Stan planned an escape, and they all break free, and this been reported in the news that children of quarantine escape and they're going to cause in chaos. They're making them the bad guys, the villains. And as the panic's going around, you, you hear Butter's father, hear, Butters, you go back to your cl class this instant. Go back to your quarantine. Don't make me find you. And then the police call the mayor and the mayor says, okay, we'll give you all the teaching supplies, i.e. weapons and Another funny part is one policeman was like saying, yes, 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 and uh, the detective goes, shh, shut up, shut up, and, uh, so, and, <laughs> and so they got their weapons, the song Heavy Metal plays, oh, yeah, call it Heavy Metal, and this leads to the uh, kids being unintentionally killed, and yes, Kenny gets killed there, and after that, you see Stan and Cartman and Kyle going off to build a bear workshop to get to, to let Butter's dream come true to have to have his bear built since he made an appointment and you see them struggling to build a bear so yeah and I could see some classic throwback comedy. Stan, Butters, Kyle, and Cartman are like the Marx Brothers here. Stan being Groucho in some form or another. And uh, Cartman, I mean, I mean Kyle being uh, Chico. And uh, I think, uh, who, I think uh, Butter is like... Uh, Harpo Marx because he's a goofy one. I think Cartman's like Harpo Marx. Doesn't matter. I'm getting off topic. Or let's take it put it this way. 
Three Stooges plus Shemp. Stan is Mo. Kyle is Larry. Cartman is Curly. And Butters is Shemp. Now, the, the four Stooges, except Curly's evil and uh, Mo is a suffering one, they have to go build the build Butters Bear, and he has, and they keep messing up. And then the police, their cannon, and their artillery weapons arrive. Step away from Build a Bear Workshop, you got five minutes. And then all is lost until Randy appears saying, Stop! I found a cure to this. My. I found a cure to this. The pangolin is responsible for this. Use a pangolin. Earlier, before the boys escaped, uh, Stan had this smart trick where he called the president, um, Donald Trump, played by Mr. Garrison, who was like being careless about it. And he asked, and he asked, uh, Stan asked him for help while Stan, using the Mr. Slave technique as like bait to lure him in. And uh, the president doesn't give a damn what's going on. He doesn't care. So, now what? Now what the hell are they going to do? So, well, fuck it, escape. This end, cause, because the president doesn't care, he says, Oh, you see, our coronavirus is taking down all the Mexicans. And this is helping making America a better place. This makes fun of the fact that the America that Donald Trump doesn't give a crap back then, and he's useless and he's too scared how to handle the situation. <sighs> so now the boys escaped. I already explained that part, and now at the end, Stan is like crying because he hates all these changes. He wants to have fun again, he wants to have a normal life again because all these strict rules and quarantine to now back to square one it's because the idea of opening school is in the fall back then is a bad idea because of coronavirus is like they're planning to make a cure for it but no it takes a long time to handle it as of now well vaccines are being made and being given but what to do? And it ended in an unfunny note where Randy decided to burn all of his integrity drugs. And as a result, well, he decided to give it up. And he found out that uh, his wife took some because and had the side effect, which is the mustache, which is caused by Randy's jizz. Oh my gosh. Awful. A W F U L. Awful. It was very little funny. Saving Grace. Oh, Mickey Mouse. That was it. And there's also a few funny gags where all these uh, people were dying, and you see the Grim Reaper in the background. And there's like this one scene where they pass Applebee's, and you see Randy say, "Oh, look." They closed down Applebee's. It's being fun of the fact that the virus is like closing down businesses, everything from restaurants to cinemas to malls to stores to everything. Now people are buying their stuff online. <sighs> well, all I can say is it's a pretty bad episode. I didn't like it for one bit. Do you agree or disagree? What are your thoughts on this episode? So. Write down in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And this is Matthew Beelmont saying, Have a nice day. Stay home. Stay safe. Stay healthy. And hashtag, We are all in this together. Or we are in this together. Yeah. We can do it. Just stay strong. There's a light at the end of the tunnel.